there is a concept uh, that you have to see what happens to link reaction in fed and fasting state and then you will understand something for gluconeogenesis so let me take that okay so in fed state in fed state there is hormone insulin insulin activates link reaction so what will happen to link reaction that this link reaction pyruvate to acetyl coa will occur the presence of enzyme pdh pyruvate dehydrogenase right but in fasting state what will happen to link reaction let's see on next slide in fasting fasting or starvation there occurs beta oxidation of fatty acid this breakage of fats from adipose tissue fatty acids are released via blood they reach liver in liver there is beta oxidation of fatty acid the end product of this beta oxidation is acetyl coa and in fasting there is excess of this acetyl coa present okay so what will happen to link reaction link reaction is pyruvate to acetyl coa and the product of link reaction is already present in excess so this excess acetyl coa product will itself inhibit its enzyme and link reaction will stop occurring so we already know that link reaction uh, is kind of anabolic reaction it occurs in fed state and not in fasting state so link reaction will not occur and the substrate of the link reaction pyruvate will start accumulating so this pyruvate will be diverted for it will be diverted for the formation of oxaloacetate okay see pyruvate is a 3 carbon compound oxaloacetate is a 4 carbon compound so we need to add carbon dioxide here so name of enzyme will be pyruvate carboxylase pyruvate carboxylase right now we already know that this acetyl coa activates pyruvate carboxylase which is the first step of gluconeogenesis right and be careful here that acetyl coa is never glucogenic it cannot make glucose it is not the substrate for glucose right but acetyl coa activates the very first step of gluconeogenesis that is pyruvate carboxylase conversion of pyruvate to acetyl conversion of pyruvate to oxaloacetate right 